Hi, my name is Thomas Carney. Today we're going to look at the Agile app in Planio. So, what can you do with the Agile app? Here's what it looks like once it's set up. You can see all the sprint items on one board. You can drag and drop items on the board to update them. You can update them directly from the board. You can plan your sprints and you can generate burn down charts, cumulative flow charts, velocity charts, and much more. So today we're gonna to look at how to set up your planner account for an agile workflow. A quick note about this tutorial. We have found that you'll have the most success if you start off with a simple setup and work from there. Once you've completed a few sprints with Planio, you'll be in a better position to see what customizations will make sense for you. The first step is making sure the Agile app is activated. Go to the Apps tab and install the Agile app. Now, let's plan our first sprint. Click on the Agile board in the Navigation tab, then click on Sprint Planning in the right sidebar. Click on New Sprint and give a name. We'll call it sprint number one, for example, and we'll set the date as next Monday. Now you can drag and drop an issue from this column into the sprint you've just created. Any items that aren't for this sprint can be left in this column. Click on the Agile board in the navigation and by default, you'll see all the issues in the project rather than the issues for the current sprint. So let's change that by adding a filter. So click on Add Filter, select Sprint Milestone, deselect Status, and make sure this Sprint Milestone is set to the current sprint. Click on Save, and we'll call it this one, Current Sprint. We'll make it visible to all the users and we'll select it as the default board for this project, so you'll see it by default. Hit save, and you can see it'll, be, it'll come up here under Agile Boards. Now you can drag and drop the issues on the board. We'll drag some issues over to, to Closed, we'll drag some to Progress, and we'll leave one here in Open. We can also update the status of items directly from the board. Another feature of Planio's Agile apps are the charts, which you'll see here in the right sidebar. Let's have a look at the, the issues burndown chart. In the filter, select the current sprint, press apply. And here we can see the issues burndown. Burndown charts show you how a project is progressing. They highlight the impact of adding new feature requests, and they let you know if things aren't going according to plan. The velocity chart shows you the output of a team per sprint. It will tell you how many items are being are getting to done or closed in each sprint. The lead time is a time between an issue being opened and an issue being closed. Teams using the Kanban approach often favor this method over the velocity chart, and they'll focus on improving the lead time rather than velocity. Cumulative flow charts show how issues are flowing through different statuses. This chart helps answer questions such as, are issues reaching their final state? Is there a particular status that's taking a lot of time? How long does it take you to go from an idea to actually providing value to customers? and is the scope of projects changing over time. Okay, so that's how you get started with the Agile app in Planio. Let us know if you have any questions. You can always send us an email at support at plan.io. And thanks for watching.